moment, I'm stocking up on water for the Cocopelli Trail. So I've got a whole bunch of water I need to figure out how to attach to my bike. 1.5 litre, 1.5 litre, so that's three litres, 2.5 and 2.5. So I've got eight in total. I've also bought three days of food, uh, two. Pasta, lots of tortillas, some beans. I found this vegan creamer for coffee, which should be nice. Taco seasoning. And of course, another jar of peanut butter. Gotta get this all on the bike. Planning on putting the water bottles, the big ones here. Load it up. So let's do a quick overview of the route. Uh, as you probably know from my previous videos, we've been heading from Boulder all the way through Colorado. And in this video, we start out in Fruta, which is in the western part of Colorado. Uh, and then after that, we're going to be going into Utah. If you want to check out my route uh, for yourself, um, I'll put a link in the description uh, where you can see it on a map uh, and browse around yourself. You can kind of see where I'm heading next to. So hopefully that's helpful. Well, I'm here at this lovely campsite in Fruta, at the state park. I'm gonna be setting up the new tent for the first time. Uh, hopefully it's uh, less leaky than the old one. Let's have a look inside. Pretty roomy. I think I could live in this. Chilling out, looking at the sunset. Lots of gear storage. New mat set up. Just woke up and uh, I'm going to be starting the Cocopelli Trail today. Oh, peanut butter is frozen. The classic peanut butter tortillas. Okay, the sun's now up, so time to get going. Bike's all packed up, got all my water, I should be okay for three days. Um, I might be able to pick up some along the way. Very excited to be doing this off-road mountain biking route that goes along the Colorado River. All the way to Moab. It's absolutely fantastic morning. Still very cold. I'm glad I've got my new gloves. So the Cocopelli Trail is about 258 kilometers from Fruta. So we're gonna try and do 80, 85K a day over three days. First sign from Moab. So we're here at the Cocopelli Trailhead. Bit nervous, uh, but I think I'm well prepared. I've got 8.4 liters of water and I've like drunk as much as I can uh, up till now. So I'm very, very, very well hydrated. I've gone for a pee like four times already today. So it's about nine o'clock and uh gonna get going um i'll show you the route so there's this helpful map here so we stayed in fruta we've just cycled to the trailhead i'm going to be following this all the way down following the colorado river to moab which is down there and uh it's going to go up into the mountains at the end and it's going to get some pretty good views of the different valleys so it's going to be pretty exciting uh Gonna be in Moab in three days. Wish me luck. And we're off. Bye bye trailhead. Aha, I'm excited. It's gonna be a challenging three days, I can tell you that. Oh my goodness. Cycling on rock. Not done that much before. The Colorado River down here. And here's where we're going. Gonna let out a bit of air out my tires to give it more comfort while riding. My tires are now tubeless, so they have this sealant that comes out. So when I was in Fruta, I got my uh, tires changed to tubeless. Uh, also, a couple of other little repairs that needed doing on the bike. So uh, now they don't have any inner tubes and I'm just running them with sealant inside. There are two main reasons for getting tubeless. One is uh, puncture resistance uh, for little tiny things like cactus needles, which would be nice when I get into the desert in Utah and Arizona. Uh, and the other one means I can um, run the tires a bit lower pressure, which makes them a bit more comfortable 
So that's what I just did. I just let the pressure out a little bit. And it is much more comfortable to ride now. So we're riding all the way along the top of this little cliff edge here, which is pretty cool. Ooh. Whoa. It's a nice little meadow. Lots of butterflies. More pushing. Steep stuff. Oh, that's fun. A bit more pushing. This section looks a little challenging. A boulder field. Let's see how we get on with this. <sighs> Bike is so heavy. I do love this trail, lots of nice single track, but I am having to come off my bike every 100 meters or so to navigate obstacles like this, which are impossible to cycle up because I'm so heavily loaded. Just can't maneuver the bike that well over rocky terrain. So having to push a lot, which means it's slow progress. We've only done 25K. I'm gonna try and do 80 today, but don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs> it's 12.30 already. Quick oh. <sighs> left. This one's a bit ridiculous. This is tricky. Very tricky. Oh, finally, something I'm able to cycle across. Bridge crossing. A bit bushy. Oh my god. Rain again. Meadow. And we're going up again. Up here, all the way up that cliff face. Somewhere there's a path. I really hope we get to a Jeep track soon. At least Jeep tracks are pretty much rideable. Oh, it's so hot. It's 1 pm. I'm right in the middle of the midday heat. I'm fed up with all this pushing. Endless amounts of this sort of stuff. I basically have to carry my bike across the rocks. It's just not very fun. Oh, come on. I think we're nearly at the top. The top of this pass up here. 
I'm worried I'm going to run out of water if I keep drinking water like this. I'm sweating buckets. Oh my god. This is not a bike path. <laughs> Even on a mountain bike, it's just, you have to carry your bike. So much of it. Oh man, I really hope it improves. Otherwise, we'll be going on the main road. <laughs> I mean, lovely scenery though. We've come to the top of the canyon now, and now we're going to cycle along the top of here. Oh, some water. Road's a bit better. We have a dirt road. I've never been this happy to see a dirt road before. <sighs> Let's make some miles. I've done 30k in like five hours. And my bike computer's saying my heart rate's very high. 180. And I burnt 3,000 calories already. I need to conserve energy a bit. <laughs> All right, off we go. This is glorious. The deer. We've been upgraded to gravel. Been following these fantastic gravel roads for a few kilometers. Feels like we're making progress now. We've done nearly 50 kilometers. 30 or so to go to meet our distance target for the day. I've entered the land of the cacti. All right, we just crossed into Utah. Not much to see, just more of the same. Just stopping for a snack at this amazing viewpoint. Also need to top up my water bottles. I've got through 2.4 liters today already, which is quite a lot. I budgeted just under three per day, so it's just it's really hot and uh, I guess I'm sweating a lot, so I need it. I'm such an idiot. I just realised these bottles are 2.5 litres, not three. Which means that we only have, we only set out with 7.4 litres in total. Gonna need to find a place to fill up. So the route that I downloaded from bikepacking.com takes us this way, on this single track, and then the uh, official maps for the Kokopelli trails go straight. And it takes a bit longer to go straight, but it's on a road as opposed to a single track. So I think I'm going to take the road, even though it's longer. I think it's called the Western Rim. And yeah, not get stuck on some single track, especially on steep uphill again. <laughs> Don't want to do that. So, long way round. Occasionally hit a piece of sand and it goes all squiggly. <laughs> I'm pushing my bike again. Oh, this Coca Pelly trail is hard. I've only done. 61k, I think. I suppose to try and do 80 today. I'll keep on pushing. We made it to the top. Descending down here. It'll be a beautiful sunset. Got a downhill, which is great. 
we've just come onto the tarmac. We're racing the sunset. Gotta get down this road and get to the Westwater Ranger Station. There's a campground there and hopefully some water. So I'm gonna race down this road. I'll see you there. Cruising, 32 kilometers an hour. We go back down to the river. We have arrived. West Water Ranger Station. Now the question is, does the tap work? Is there any water? So they have water, but I need to figure out if it's drinkable. <laughs> Otherwise we're gonna be filtering this bad boy. Thanks for watching. Boy, that was a tough uh, day on the Kokopelli Trail, day one. Um, I'm currently editing this video from Bryce Canyon yeah, over in Utah. Um, sorry, I've been a bit uh, delayed editing videos, uh, so uh, I'll get a few up uh, in the next few days. Uh, in the next video, uh, we'll be continuing on the Kokopelli Trail towards uh, Moab. I won't give too much away. Um, if you like the video, uh, I'd love it if you could like and subscribe and share with your friends um, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, thanks. Bye.